Why do we tell patients that they can't have procedures when they're pregnant or breastfeeding? Really common question, particularly breastfeeding, people think there can't be a connection. You know, particularly with dermal filler where we know it's staying in the skin, how is this possibly going to interact with breast milk? Um, and the reason is it's basically one of the fundamental kind of rules of medical care is that you don't increase the risk in any way for, for, for babies and particularly if, if they're in utero, um, if you can just wait and do the procedure later, unless you've got some very good reason. So it should be in the patient's best interest, some really significant reason why the parent uh, needs it, that, that, and then a very low risk of any complication. Now we don't have any data on these things, and this is one of the things that means this is such a common rule, is no one is ever going to run a trial where we inject pregnant women with botulinum toxins or dermal filler and see what happens in 30 years time to their kids. It's simply never going to happen. So we don't know. There's a degree of uncertainty. We need to respect that, and we need to respect that what we're talking about is the future of an individual who might live for 100 years with the problem that you may or may not cause them. Um, certainly what we don't want is any uncertainty for the patient as well. So I often think one of the best reasons not to do it is if you think about, you know, even stillbirth is one in 200. If the patient just makes a connection that they had Botox three weeks before their um, baby was stillborn, that can cause them a huge amount of psychological stress, which I don't want to have anything to do with. So there are little things like that Similar with cot death, you know, imagine they're breastfeeding and you have a, you do some toxin on them and then the baby dies. Um, that's really going to cause a lot of a lot of problems for them and for you. They might have psychological stress over the decision they made, um, wonder for the rest of their lives whether there was some cause. Now you may think there's no cause at all. I mean, I personally don't think there will be any connection with those two things, but you don't want that question mark. So um, it's a really good idea not to increase the uncertainty during what is essentially quite an uncertain time, pregnancy, uh, breastfeeding to less of an extent, but still something worth thinking about. Uh, cause you a lot of headaches and just cause unnecessary stress. Why not wait until it's a, it's a simple procedure with no complicating factors? So I, I always say, why not wait until you've got calm seas before you go out sailing? There's no point setting out in a storm. And that's a bit what it's like doing if you, if you do a procedure on someone who's pregnant and breastfeeding, there's, there's uncertainty that you can easily just wait a bit longer for and get away from and have a much easier life. So that's why we don't treat people who are pregnant and breastfeeding.